the Forty Orty podcast. For me, as soon as I disclose to somebody that I'm autistic, their perception of me changes completely, and um, it makes me sad. And it sometimes makes me wonder whether I should tell people at all that I'm I'm happy and I'm proud to be autistic because it is who I am. Um, and I think along with that, once you tell someone, comes infantilization. So people will just automatically start treating you like a kid, like a little child. Yeah. You're not a child. You're a fully grown adult who's aware of like everything and you know you're autistic. Um, if anything, we're just more in touch with our inner child <laughs> and it's it's cool, it's fun. Um We're not I appalled think- to those social norms that keep us from acting in a certain way or like... exactly like i i just do things because i want to do them um mm. like for example my special interests are dinosaurs <laughs> so ju- nice. everything to do with jurassic nice. park <laughs> thank you nice. and jurassic world and usually that's just associated with children or young boys for example mm. and i'm a adult female who's 25 and i still love dinosaurs and jurassic and i love dressing up in different cosplay um and also batman as well i'm completely obsessed with batman and gotham but sometimes people can see it as like childish is that childish yeah. <laughs> i think it's pretty cool but um yeah yeah i definitely think infantilization is one of the worst things that i experience still and i have experienced because autistic people are actually super super smart <laughs> mm. and I'm not saying that because I'm autistic and I'm smart. You're smart. Loads of autistic... I think it's actually proven, isn't it? Like, autistic people actually have... Uh, really average high or above IQs. average. Yeah, Average really or above IQ. average IQ. Mm. So, if anything, we're less childlike. We're so smart. I literally did my dissertation in four days. Like, that's insane. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Because when we're younger, we get classified as, like, little professors. Yeah. And we talk to like adults and stuff. But when we get to adulthood, we get characterized as like this immature, childish character. Like, so just, weird. Just, yeah. Odd, it's, it's, indeed. It's like two ends of the extreme. It's Where's the middle? <laughs> is there yeah. a middle? I don't think there is. But instead of accepting us for how we are, people just like, mm. I don't know, always make us feel weird. That because. About it? you feel able to break out of the social norms and barrier, social barriers that people enforce for no reason that, <laughs> that that makes you a child. Whereas, you know, if you talk to a lot of neurotypicals, the, the, there'll be a lot of things that they really enjoy that they've, they've been like, oh, well, I've grown out of it and things like that. I'm like, have you grown out of it or are you just trying to conform because... <laughs> People might think it's a bit strange that you like still like Pokemon or like, <laughs> exactly. you know. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You should be proud of your interests and your likes and, and your dislikes. You know, mm. everyone's different. Yeah, I think it's important to just acceptance. <laughs> acceptance. Mm. Like if people could just be more accepting, it would be fantastic. 